Hi and welcome to this lesson on alcohols. We're looking at alcohol reactions and uh, I will jump right into it with the first um, example and that is to actually synthesize alcohol. Okay, so in other words, how can we produce alcohol using alkenes? So this is called an hydration reaction. Okay, in a hydration. Okay, hydration reaction and the reason why is because what we are doing is we're adding water to an alkene. So we're going to have an alkene plus water H2O and that is why it's called hydration. Okay, hydration because we're adding water and that will produce an alcohol. An alcohol. Now the reaction condition is that this needs to happen in the presence of a strong acid. Okay, in the presence of a strong acid. Now the reason for that strong acid is that when we have a strong acid diluted into water, it produces what is called the hydronium ion. Okay, and that hydronium ion has a better um, opportunity to break the double bond in the alkene and to donate, donate a hydrogen and a water molecule. And the water molecule there and as soon as it donates the water molecule then the rest of the water again attracts the water molecule back and um, uh, uh, produces another hydronium ion again uh, continuing this reaction uh, sorry it doesn't attract the water molecule it attracts the other extra hydrogen molecule and produces the hydronium ion okay so but that this little part is not as important for the for um, understanding we don't do mechanisms in in this course so uh, it's just important that you know that a strong acid is used as a catalyst in this process so let's look at an example of this let's take a very basic example uh, for example ethanol ethanol plus water sorry not ethanol ethene ethene plus h2o will produce ethanol ethanol in the presence of a strong acid well let's take hydrophosphoric acid Hydro, so phosphoric acid, okay, and um, and what will the reaction look like? Well, here we have our ethene, okay, ethene plus H two O. Okay, I'm going to write H two O as this so that you can easier, more easily see what happens. So here the double bond is broken. Okay, and yes, okay, there is the H2, H3PO4 as a strong acid. The, um, there is that reaction that happens as an intermediate, but don't worry about it. For now, you can simply understand that this bond will be broken. The one valence electron will get the hydrogen. The other one will get the hydroxyl ion, and this will therefore produce the following and there we go there we have our ethan ethanol ethanol let me just look at a one more example to um, explain a last concept that's important here and that is what which one will get in this case which one will get the hydroxyl and which one will get the hydrogen why because when this bond breaks okay it's not symmetric anymore as in the in in this top one is it the middle one that's going to get it or is it this uh, this carbon now basically it comes down uh, to it that the um the hy hydroxyl ion will go to the more stable uh, position okay so um, but that involves the intermediate intermediary processes of this mechanism so you don't have to know that I will just give you the standard um, 
principle is that the hydrogen will go to where there's the most hydrogens. So we can see this one has one hydrogen and this one has two hydrogens. So the hydrogen will attach itself to, uh, to where we have the most hydrogens. So in this case, when we have water, and I'm just re writing water as this. I hope you understand why I'm writing water like this so that you can see which bond is breaking. So that bond breaks, okay? And the water, sorry, the hydrogen molecule attaches itself to that additional bond there. So I know that I'm at least having the following, okay? This is happening, okay? And then this is what we used to have, and now the hydro and the hydroxyl ion will attach to that additional bond um, created there. So we have a hydroxyl there, and excellent. That's what we have left. So what did I what did I start with? With I started with a, th um, a propene, propene, okay, plus water and it produced and now we have to actually um, it's not as simple as the previous one because here my um, uh, hydroxyl attached itself to the second carbon so this is two uh, sorry not two pro propan to all okay propan to all to describe where the hydro, um, hydroxyl attached itself. Well, this is um, the first video where I looked at hydration. In the next video, I will look at dehydration. Can you imagine what that is? I'll see you in that video.